Jamaica lost one of its potential musical legends at the age of just 21. A young man whose musical maturity belied his age. A man who was destined to become a musical giant. He was, however, taken from us in another man's land. Hey! I know so when me come, me get it. Hey! Ring me alarm, and I'll sound die. Oh! Hey! Ring me alarm, big jump on the top. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Viewers, Tenasar, given name Clive Bright, was born in West Kingston on December 2, 1966. His mother was a church-going lady, and it was while attending church that young Clive first displayed his musical talents. As a teenager, he fell more and more in love with the music and knowing his mother's religious background and that she would not approve of his musical ambitions, he went to live with his father. Clive, however, would still visit his mother, but she wondered why he preferred living with his father. Mama Cherry, as she's affectionately called, had no idea her son was pursuing music until a friend told her that they heard one of his songs on the radio. That song was a religiously tinged roll call produced by George Pang and released on the Powerhouse label in 1984. Hey, hey, when the road is called, the it was in 1985 that Tenasaw got his first major hit with the song Pumpkin Belly on the Sling Teng Rhythm. By the mid to late 80s, Tenasaw's position in the books of musical grades was cemented, with a slew of hits including lots of signs. Life is one big road with a lots of signs. Sign in both sides. I'm gonna make up my mind. Golden N. Ticka ticka tock, ticka ticka tock, my golden N. My golden N. And of course, ring the alarm. Hey, ring the alarm. This monumental song recorded on the Stalag rhythm for producer Winston Techniques Riley is arguably his most successful song. Some sound, sound like a big jump on. Tenasaw was now in heavy demand and was riding high on the success of his recent releases. America came calling and the saw answered. Love your brother man like you love your own. I know. Love your sisters like you love your own. According to his mother, he fell in love with America and would spend more and more time in the US. Tenasaw left Jamaica for the last time in 1986 and by 1987, he was touring extensively with reggae legend Freddie McGregor. It was around this time that rumors started circulating that he was abusing drugs and might have been dealing with mental issues. However, these claims were never verified. In 1988, Tenasaw was signed to Ras Records with the hopes of releasing an album. According to reports, when it was time to record the album, Saw was a no-show. At the height of his four-year musical reign, the then 21-year-old was found dead with broken limbs near a Texas roadway in August of 1988. He was a victim of an apparent hit and run in Houston. Or was he? The young reggae sensation with the golden voice, older than his years, was found on the side of a freeway in a remote area with his legs broken and injuries to his head. The official cause of death was ruled as pneumonia, but it is believed that he may have probably died from his injuries because he laid helpless out in the open for hours, perhaps even days before he eventually died. Some of the questions that have been asked hundreds of times include how did Saw end up on the side of the road in the first place? Who was driving the car that allegedly hit him? And why has there been no developments in the case down the years? Strangely, on the 26th of October 1988, 
the Jamaica Gleaner reported that Tenasaw had been shot and killed in New York City. However, at this time, Tenasaw was dead for close to two months. Down the years, many rumors have circulated and many opinions and theories put forward in relation to his death. Some of the most popular ones being he was a victim of a hit and run. Some believe he was swindled and then murdered. Some have even suggested that he was involved in drugs and his murder was drug related. There are also those who think he owed the wrong people money for a show and was killed because he took the advance but never performed. Another story said he was murdered by promoters who did not want to pay him for a show. However, one of the sad rumors is that he was killed by his friends and the show money stolen. Tenasaw's catchy lyrics and unique voice defined 80s dancehall music and influenced a generation of entertainers. His unique sound at the time would later inspire other major artists of the 80s, including his close friend Nitty Gritty, Frankie Paul, Michael Palmer, and Junior Reed. Though the circumstances surrounding his death remain shrouded in mystery, there is no denying that Tenasaw's legacy lives on. No. And when the musical role is called up yonder, Clive Bright will be there. The kind of yarn on a fever, original fever, whoa, I'm gone on a fever, Lord no, original fever, hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, whoa. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!